Hello friends, welcome to another episode. I know it's your end and all will be partying, trips, travel. And uh, here we are doing our year end trip to guess where? It's a beautiful land blessed by nature on the coastal region of Karnataka. Um, any wild guess? So we are going on to Udupi. added any extra sounds that's the natural sound of the mountain stream so we can clearly get to know that we are entering a land which is blessed by nature full of nature rivers streams mountains and crystal clear beaches let's explore the land of wood be together let's go Arch, we are entering Udupi officially. So let's check into the hotel first and uh, then explore. So first we are gonna go to Melpe beach where we have a 450 meter sea walk and plenty of water sports and it's a pretty crowded beach um, let's go there and find out more
So here we have a very neat and clean park and there is a fishing harbor, a lot of boats and there is a shipping maintenance place over there. Water sports mainly include uh, boating, bum ride, jet skiing and uh, plenty of beach stalls and restaurants found here. There's a ferry service to St. Mary's Island which we are planning to explore tomorrow because there is a time limit. It's allowed only till 6 p.m. for so we can only stay in that island till uh, the last ferry service from the island will be 6 p.m. So it's almost sunset time now. Let's enjoy the sunset at Malpe Beach day one in Udupi. So here we are entering to this skywalk which is 450 meter long and uh, we can oversee the harbor. A lot of people come here to enjoy the pleasant weather and the sunset. Um, even we can bring the wheelchairs over here till the end of this sea walk. Some people are fishing over there. Uh, fishery boats are leaving the harbor and going to the deep sea beautiful sunset which uh, it's a picturesque view good morning day two starts with a heavy breakfast which includes crispy vadas semi upma and fresh mixed juice and lime mint juice and set off to St. Mary's Island St. Mary's Islands is a cluster of four islands in Arabian Sea, mainly consists of coconut trees and uh, seashores heaven. It's an offbeat seashore place to view and there are ferry services available from 250 rupees to 400 rupees if you are availing government ferry service. From there we need to change to a feeder boat and feeder boat will take you to the islands. Time to spend in the island is just one hour for the tourist in each ferry and within one hour you need to return from the island to the mainland. And now ferry service have left the harbor. We can see the harbor overview and the sea walk where we walked yesterday and watch sunset. It's about 10.30 a.m. now, sea is very calm and we are moving out to the main sea. Nice breeze and waters playing some music to entertain the tourists. All of us have life jackets. That's the overview of a crescent view of Malpe Beach and we can oversee St. Mary's Islands from the ferry service. It's almost 20 minutes ride to the islands and mainly people visit here to see the rock formations and it's a seashell heaven. You will not find any sand on this beach. It's all broken seashells. It's a beautiful view. Let's reach there. You can now see the feeder boats approaching the ferry service. Now the passengers will be taken from the ferry service to the feeder boat and feeder boat will take you to the islands. Ferry service will return to the mainland and come with the next set of travelers.
Feather bought also equipped with life jackets and uh, anchors and the staff. They are guiding passengers and helping them to enter the feeder boat. As you can see, the ferry service is moving away from the feeder boat and we are moving in the direction of the islands. I was curious to watch how the this anchor is deployed and they row the boat to the direction where it has to slow down this boat and uh, take it to the right direction to disembark the passengers. Yes, we are here. Finally, we need to step down the boat and we are entering the beach water and walking to the island. So let's go. The main rule of this island is no plastic, no food, no smoking, no alcohol. If you're carrying any of this, you need to give it to the guard. There is a counter and pay them for the storage until you return. If you plan to visit this island, ensure you carry no slippers or crocs, otherwise your shoes are definitely gonna get wet. That's my condition now. There are stall and uh, small restaurant and public toilets for usage and there's entrance after that there is nothing empty it's absolutely empty for the tourists to explore the island i would say they have maintained this island very neat and clean and the beach is crystal clear water and uh, it's absolutely a thumb rule for all the islands and in all the beaches to follow the same rules to keep them neat and clean. During the sea, we see a mangrove forest uh, slightly growing up and uh, the rock formations and slippery rocks. The rocks are very slippery here. If you're climbing these rocks, which is mainly not allowed, guards are there to restrict you and signboards are there everywhere. No swimming allowed in the sea. It's a rough sea over here. And uh, yes, seashells all over you when you're walking. Please ensure you don't slip and fall, otherwise it could damage your skin. It's a very scenic place and it's a viewpoint, everybody is taking pictures for making memories, let me take one.
they do have what is called in St. Mary's Islands as well, where uh, you go for, uh, you know, boating, jet skiing, um, parasailing, and uh, dolphin sea view as well. One hour just went like that and time to return to the shore waiting for the feeder boat. We have entered the ferry service from the feeder boat and we are all tired. Uh, it's almost 12 p.m. now. So let's go back to the mainland.
We are nearing the harbour now. We can see uh, some ships parked over there for maintenance. Planning to go back to the hotel, rest for a while before we set off for dinner. <laughs> 